because I watch your show obsessively. Oh, I love that. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm talking to Abby. <laughs> like you're out promoting your book or something. It could be. It's similar. Okay, so this was the first show since Sex in the City. I got quite so wrapped up when with that. the woman. Thank you. A lot of people try to recreate that magic, but I really wanted to be Abby McCarthy's, like, all their best friends. I love hearing that. Yes. I mean, first of all, we have great clothing. And the stories are written so well. And I love that there's no real... Like, my ex-husband's not the bad guy. I love that it's complicated. I love that it's emotional and also really goofy and... Yeah. Can I ask you one thing about your character? Yes. Because I feel like women constantly grapple with this. You had to find the balance in this last season about standing up for yourself, but also still feel as if you were helping somebody that needed help, which was your ex-husband's girlfriend's new baby. And you kind of, you had to find the balance, not to be a doormat, but still still have that woman spirit tribe thing. So wh wh how did that feel for you? I loved Abby's nervous breakdown this last season. <laughs> I know. I know. I almost wish it. Well, they allowed it to just go a little further because it it really is. It really takes that moment in your life when it's just everything has fallen apart and you realize you you have to find the things that are most important to you and discard the rest and own it and move forward and own it. And I think that's where we leave Abby at the end of that season. So it's exciting. Now I have a question for you because I know that the actress process is it's a long road. Right. When I watch this. I I felt like this was written for you. Did you have to audition, or was this like a, a, no, a, a movie vehicle for you? I auditioned. I auditioned. Like a lot of auditions? No, actually, because Marty knew me socially, yeah. and she really had a feeling that I would be right for it. Yeah. And I, I was in a position where I was teetering on the edge of somebody who might be offered something. Yeah. So we made an agreement that I would go in one time for everybody and show them what I would do with this character and that way we could all move forward confidently or say no this isn't for me and so I just went in once. Very lastly, one person that you would want to guest star in any role on the show? Oh God, I can't, I, I don't know, I drew a blank. So many, there's so many people, every time yeah. I run into an actor, I'm like, you gotta come on the show. Every show I binge watch, I have Scandal House the of way, Cards and Girlfriend's Guide. By the way, at the presidential, at the, um, the uh, correspondence dinner, yes. I sat next to Madeline Albright and she Woo! offered to come on the show. So Madeline Albright. You're listening, Madeline. We I'm not kidding. Right here. We're going to write you in. I love you. I mean, that's amazing. So good. It's a great, good meaty roles for Thank women. You. Not Thank stereotypes. You. Thank you. you.